Yes. Now, the story of Marjorie and Pat Godfrey began in seventh grade uh -huh. at a dance. Yeah. But just wait until you hear how a huge Godwink allowed this story to finish. Ooh. From the dance floor, I saw Pat Godfrey, the new cute guy, looking at me. Marjorie was a ball of energy, wearing white pants and a big smile. From day one, Pat and I were drawn to each other. We dated till my family moved away and sadly drifted apart. I went to college in New Mexico and Pat moved to Hawaii. For the next decade, my life was pretty bumpy. Two failed marriages sent me into a downward spiral. It was the worst time of my life. So bad I had to move in with my mother. One day, Mom and I were looking at photo albums. I came across a high school photo of Marjorie. My heart sank, I missed her. I said, why couldn't I have just married Marjorie Southworth in the first place? All of a sudden, I got this overwhelming urge to find her. I called every Southworth in the LA phone directory, but no luck. I remained single all during this time, often thinking of my high school sweetheart, Pat. But my job kept me busy, and I always hoped that one day, my perfect love would come along. The next morning, I started my commute to work, but at the last moment, I had another overwhelming urge, a completely crazy notion of taking a different route to work, one that was 45 minutes out of the way. It made no sense at the time. As I waited on the two-lane ramp to enter the freeway, I heard a beep. I looked, and a beautiful woman with sunglasses had pulled up next to my car. She lifted her glasses, and my heart leapt. It was Marjorie. I couldn't believe it. It was Patrick. I felt a huge tug to beep at him. Wow, when I saw her face, I knew it was a God wink. What are the odds that on the day after I was looking for her in a city of millions of people, that she would find me on a freeway ramp out of millions of cars on the road? I began to laugh. And then I laid my head on the steering wheel and cried. We pulled to the side of the road and hugged. It was as if time stood still. It was only a few months later that I looked into Marjorie's eyes, still gripped by a lack of courage. I quietly said, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I looked at Patrick and asked, what are you trying to say? I want to hear the words. I'm trying to say, will you marry me? And I said, yes. Oh they God. are still uh, madly in love 37 me, years so later. That is so sad. You know, the message is we have to listen to that inner oh GPS and yes. follow the nudges, and God winks will unfold. They will uh, be, be revealed. By the way, you. that's one yes, of my favorites. Will. I know. It's one that's just of my favorites. That was beautiful. Thank Squire. you, Squire. Thank you we for that. We these every month. Oh, oh my right, God. My best, sweetheart. Right. Thank you. Oh, See you back at the house. Every time he's on the show, somehow I get stuck with him and then his wife at my house the night before. She so go get your stuck. stuff, okay? <laughs> okay.